What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shramati. If you are new here, welcome. I am taking you guys back into my kitchen today to show you how to make duck curry. This is a recipe that has passed down from generation to generation in my family. My mother is Indian, so I've been eating a lot of curry in my lifetime. This video is going to be a voiceover, so I hope you guys like those types of videos. If you want to see this recipe, I would love to share it with you guys. So thumbs up this video at the end if you like what you see. For those of you who are not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and comment down below and let me know if this is a recipe that you would try or also if you have a different recipe that maybe I can try. So without further ado, keep on watching. So I'm starting out with one whole duck that I'm gonna generously apply salt and pepper too if you notice the duck is dry and that's because when i washed it i let it hang out in the strainer for about 20 minutes you want to make sure you're seasoning your meat and not water when you're done putting your seasoning in you want to give that a good stir and just let it sit for the rest of the time that you're preparing the other ingredients Next, we're gonna go on to the paste. We're starting with one teaspoon of curry powder and another teaspoon of curry powder. So two, two teaspoons of curry powder, one teaspoon of jeera, and one teaspoon of masala. The thing about these ingredients is that you wanna make sure that they are authentic. So most of the authentic ingredients would come in packets and not the containers. So um, just be careful with what you buy so that you get, like, I guess the maximum flavor. I will have all of these ingredients listed in the description box down below. We're adding some water now and turning this into a paste, uh, about one third of a cup of water. And, you know, it's not looking like the most interesting thing right now, but sometimes it starts like this. You're gonna rest this one side and go in with all the ingredients now that you have to chop. So that includes spring onion, onions, garlic. You can chop these however you feel like. I just like to, you know, be a little bit more strategic with my chopping. You're also adding cinnamon, thyme, and one scotch bonnet pepper. Oh, don't let me forget the bay leaf. Moving on to the stove, we're going to put our karahi on on high heat, put some oil in there. It doesn't matter if you have olive oil or regular oil, just no oil with flavors. You're going to fry that up for about 30 seconds and then you're going to add the onions, spring onions and all of that. And then on top of that, you're going to add the star of the day, the duck. Moving on, you're gonna put some green seasoning in there and stir it, give it a really, really good stir. And after that, I like to just drop my scotch bonnet in there and put the lid on and leave it for about an hour and a half to two hours or until the duck is soft. At this point, you wanna reduce the heat on it to about half, so medium heat. And there you have it. That's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.